By the end of the apprenticeship, you will want to know how the apprentice has experienced this period themselves. To get a better understanding of this, you should ask them to fill in a satisfaction survey. Normally, the Sending Education Center would have their own survey format for this, which they can share with you. Of course, this survey can be used at different stages of the apprenticeship, for example, as a midterm review, but it should at least be used at the end of the apprenticeship. There are a number of topics this satisfaction survey can address, but it should at least provide ample information about the experience the learner apprentice has had with both the company and the education center during their apprenticeship. Questions about the company should include the training itself, the apprentice's satisfaction with the mentor, an overall understanding of the work of the company, their relationship with workmates, the learning environment within the company, and the overall level of satisfaction with the company as a good place to do an apprenticeship. Survey questions about the education center should ask if the objectives of the apprenticeship were clear from the start, about the apprentice's satisfaction with their overall learning during the apprenticeship, satisfaction with their supervision, if the overall objectives of the apprenticeship have been achieved, and if the work was a good match with the apprentice's study program. Once you and the supervisor have done a joint analysis of the survey results, together you can identify where the learner apprentice needs further support in the remainder of the studies. But just like you would like to know how the apprentice has experienced their period in your company, the education center will also want to know how you have experienced your role as a mentor. Therefore, you should fill in a similar satisfaction survey yourself. This survey should be a means for you to express your opinion about your mentoring experience. For example, on challenges you may have had with mentoring and supporting the apprentice. But it should also be a way to evaluate the interaction between you and the Education Institute. Plus the important question, if based on this experience, you would like to accept new apprentices in the future. Again, you and the supervisor should analyze the results of this survey together. Together with a critical review of other key documents of the apprenticeship, such as the training agreement and a notebook delivered by the apprentice, you can then identify areas for improvement for future apprenticeships. Further support that you can give to the apprentice should also include information related to their future career and progression possibilities. They should be informed on the labor market, but you may also refer to recruitment possibilities, training options inside and outside the company, and routes of promotion that could be possible within your company.